name is Dr. Michael B. Sisti. I'm a neurosurgeon at Columbia University Irving Medical Center at New York Presbyterian Hospital here in New York. I'd like to tell you about some exciting things I've learned over the last several months using our EPIC platform, MyChart, Telemedicine, and Zoom. Uh, some of the advantages of obviously coming to Columbia here in New York is we're a world-class institution that does many different kinds of exotic things. In my particular case, it's complicated intracranial brain surgery, both with microsurgery and radiosurgery. Obviously, during the times of the pandemics or just during regular times, uh, Northern Manhattan may be very inaccessible to you if you live in another country, uh, so we have an international practice here or in a state or you have a job or children at home or parents you need to take care of or you're socially isolating and you have critical medical needs and you just can't make it in to see your doctor. Well, we have several options for you. Obviously, the telephone's always on as well as our emails, but using the MyChart application on our Epic platform, uh, we can have a telemedicine consult. Epic is an incredibly powerful electronic medical record that not only joins you to your doctor and the doctor's office chart, but also joins you to the hospital chart. For instance, if you had surgery here at NYP, all your records would be there, but as Epic is widely used in major medical centers, world-class medical centers around the world in this country, any other hospital that you've been at where you've been on the Epic platform, I will see everything about your uh, doctor's notes, your operative notes, your blood tests. I get all the information electronically. So you can imagine in the modern era having a platform that works off your cell phone or your computer or your iPad that is instantly accessible to you and any doctor you see for telemedicine consult at any time is incredibly powerful. Now this may be too much power for so much people. If you're not a patient here, you may not want to register on the Epic system and go through the MyChart process and download your scans, but everybody has heard of Zoom. And of course, Zoom has become very popular and it's very easy to use. And uh, it's a global application which can be downloaded on an app store for iPhone or any other kind of phone if you like. I use an iPhone. And uh, the thing about Zoom that had concerned many of us in the healthcare field was uh, the confidentiality of the information. But of course now, uh, confidential HIPAA compliant based uh, Zoom uh, password protected options are available. We have one available here through Columbia University. I will tell you, I love this the way you guys, uh, I know something leaves to be desired for a Zoom birthday party or a Zoom office meeting, but uh, having a Zoom consult because you can't make it here for whatever reason or just because you want a second or third opinion from a world-class doctor for a procedure you have scheduled, uh, we can send you the code. You have got the app on your phone. We send you a code. We link on here. And here's the what I think is the killer application. And you know this from Zoom. Unlike my chart, which is the doctor or multiple doctors to one patient, now we can have multiple people joining in on one consult. So for today, for instance, I saw a patient with a, a brain tumor. I had uh, family members in three separate locations. Uh, one was socially isolating, one was taking care of children, another lived on the other side of the country, couldn't come here for the consult, and we were able to figure out everything for this uh, family's mother and arrange to get the surgery done in short order because we had a total family consensus about the diagnosis, the treatment, the plan, the risks and the benefits uh, in a straightforward, uh, confidential, password-protected Zoom meeting. I had another one today as well where a patient who has another kind of tumor that doesn't need surgery but needs radio surgery had a son who was in Staten Island, the patient was in Central Jersey, I was here in New York, we were able to get together in a very complicated situation and discuss the pros and cons and this patient will be having radio surgery with us next week and we were able to do it uh, on a Zoom meeting. And it seems a little odd uh, but uh, it's surprisingly easy if you don't have to think about coming into, like say, Manhattan, uh, coming across the bridge, paying a toll, parking your car. We'd love to see you. The building I'm in, the Neurological Institute, is, is a very historic building. Um, the Institute started in 1909 and joined the Columbia campus in the 1920s. It's a very famous place. We have seven MRI scanners in this building and every famous doctor you could possibly think of. Everybody here is world class, but we recognize that geographically, even if you live in Brooklyn, uh, to get here to Northern Manhattan, it's a challenge. You know, imagine if you're in Brazil or you're in India or you're in China or, or Florida. No, you can reach out like a Zoom meeting anywhere in the world, and this breaks down all the barriers of access. Uh, and, uh, you know, in the past, if you were an international patient, I would never have you come here and have you send stuff through the mail or whatever. And now I can determine right away if you're living in another country, is it even necessary for you to come here to New York to see me? We can figure this all out from your home, your office, with your friends, with your other, with doctors that you want to have on the line. 
uh, any important advisor you want to have, we can bring everybody in and you can determine whether or not what myself or any of my colleagues are telling you makes sense, is something you want to do and you want to make the commitment to come here. And so I think it's a, it's a great thing, it's a big advance. Uh, we've been doing this sort of in a very uh, non-official kind of way before them, and particularly in international patients obviously, but now for patients who were here just in New York City, just uh, with the traffic issues and everything, the parking, it's just made things. My, a lot of my patients say, hey, Dr. Sisti, you're great, I love you, you saved my life, but <laughs> I'm never coming back to see you in your office again. I'm fine with that. And uh, the interesting thing for me now at this stage of my career is I'm, I'm, I'm meeting many of my patients in the flesh for the first time the morning of surgery because we've done the consult, uh, we've gotten all the pre-op clearance, gotten all the medications squared away, all the proper scans, everything we need, and um, I just had a physician patient. I said, you know, you're a doctor and I'm a doctor, and what do you think about this whole thing? And, and she said, you know, it's just, it's, it's, this is one of the easiest, best things I've ever done uh, for myself, and I'm gonna recommend it to all my patients. And so uh, the technology is going by leaps and bounds and something out of this pandemic where, you know, you know, here at Columbia, we know what to do. We've, we've dealt with this for two months. Uh, all of us have understand the issues very well. Look, the Neurological Institute has been around since 1909. We've dealt with every pandemic and world war you can think of. We're not afraid, we know what to do, we know how to do it, we know when to do it. Uh, we've learned a ton of stuff and one of, the, one of the very positive things that have been come out of this is that the technology has leapfrogged ahead to break down all barriers to access to world-class doctors at this institution and, and quite frankly others as well. And I think if you're a patient with a complicated brain problem, it behooves you and your family members to uh, go to our website and check us out, check me out, and if you already have uh, uh, seen another doctor, um, uh, you know, how could it not possibly help you or your family members to get another opinion from people who have deep experience in rare, exotic, complicated diseases that work at top-rated medical schools and medical centers in what is uh, the largest, most sophisticated city, I guess I'm a New Yorker, you can tell, in the entire country. I think if it, when it comes to your brain, I don't think that healthcare uh, is something you should compromise on. Your health is your choice. Uh, we're clear, we're precise, we're extremely experienced, we're subspecialized, and the technology is gonna make it easier for us to help you and more people uh, with what we have to offer. By the way, if you, if you do a consult with me and it turns out that I don't happen to be the right person to do your thing because we're multiple neurosurgeons here who subspecialize, I don't do all kinds of tumors, but of course everybody here on the fourth floor of the Neurology Group where I work is an internationally or nationally famous doctor. I just walk you down the hallway with my cell phone and just put you on with the person who I know that if I had what you had, that's the person who would be treating me or anybody in my family. So please reach out to us, call our offices, email us, our staff is extremely specialized and experienced, just as we are. They're super helpful, and I think now all the barriers are down to access to coming to the highest, greatest, best places, deepest experience for most complicated problems through your cell phone. And we're loving it, and uh, I can see the advantages. It's, uh, it's great to be practicing in a time in which uh, we've had so much to offer patients and so much trouble during this pandemic. We, the heroic work that's been done here by our nurses and staff and faculty, it's just extraordinary. It's like the other pandemics we've dealt with since I've been here, like AIDS and SARS and Ebola, things like that. We know what we're doing, we know how to do it. We're not afraid, we know how to get you and your family through it. And the technology is gonna make it easier and better for everybody involved. And I, please reach out and uh, look, Technology is not for anybody. I had a nice lady who uh, bought a cell phone to do this for me, and she charged it up, and she couldn't figure out how to turn on her cell phone. It's it's okay. I'll call you on the telephone. But uh, but the technology now is ubiquitous. Everybody's got it, and you're running your life on it. And now you can reach out and call your neurosurgeon and get an opinion from a world class doctor. And you really should do that for you, or anybody you care about. I hope this was helpful. And we have a lot of resources online, uh, our website, Facebook, you know, all that stuff. I don't really use a lot of that stuff, but the website's really good, and you should check it out, check us out, and, um, and if we can help you, uh, uh, we'll let you know, and uh, if, we're, if I'm not the right person, I'll find the right person for you. Hope that was helpful for you, and uh, be safe. Thanks.